is dedicated to Pritula Rashid, the co-pilot, and the 49 others who died during the tragic plane crash in Kathmandu on March 12, 2018. What girl am I, whose tongue never forgot the taste of raw mango with mustard, roadside chamuri with salcha and endless conversations, who romanticizes the beating rain and yearns in the purple lightning, in the summer nights for purple lightning to come play, whose fathers and grandfathers have spilled their blood onto fields of yellow mustard flowers in a single pursuit, freedom. But what brown girl am I without remembering that while culture and history tell me I come from boldness, independence, and struggle, there is a line drawn in the sand which holds me, separating my brother from me, and while he bears his heritage, I'm pegged down. Because I'm a Bengali girl. I use that word girl intentionally, because ageism is my reality. I'm not a woman unless I am married. I'm just any other girl who's been told. Let go of those jeans and wear that salwar kameez. Hide your body. Don't talk to boys. Obey society. Don't go out in the sun. Your skin will go darker. Darker. You make it sound like it's a sin. You still believe that fair and lovely is the only beauty mantra to live by. Ironic that beauty isn't for the ashy brown girls. But you can't be white however much you scrub. What brown girl am I without the women in my life who molded me with each dose of fear they prescribed? That bitter cough syrup taken at every dinner table conversation, every furtive glance, demanding my silent, shrieking obedience, reminding me what was right for me is right for you. What brown girl am I without being taught that clothes determine his right to approach me? So past 6 p.m., out on the swarming streets, my mind echoes a jarring, broken record on repeat. Rape! 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 So what feminist am I, without thanking these women, who told me that feminists were dirty? No greater truth between your lips had slipped. You knew that they are trudging in viscous mud, grime and slime drying on their skin. In blood-curdling darkness, they are clawing and scratching with broken bones, helplessly trying to strike a blow at the ones who could only hide in the shadow and dirt. Because can you fight vermin without getting your hands dirty? Well, what woman am I without telling you that I rage into the good night only because I am afraid. <laughs>